Welcome back, welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful week building Python web apps with Dash. In this tutorial, which is part three of this Python web app series, I'm going to show you how you can customize your web app to control the names of each page in your app on the sidebar, the name on the browser tab, and also the name of each page in the URL. And then these are called meta tags, which I'm also going to show you, which will allow you to copy paste the link of your app into a post, whether on Twitter or LinkedIn, social media, and a meta tag will show the title of the page, the description, and also the image. You can do it here. We can do it on the, any type of form. This is the Plotly form and you'll see that you get an image, the title, and a description of your app that's deployed to the web. So we're going to see how to do all this together. In addition, we, I'm going to show you how to deploy your app with one command um, to the web using Dash Tools package. All right, so to get started and to follow along, if you would like, I would go into the link under the video <coughs> into App C and just download everything. Download it into the same folder names. You can go in here, click raw, and then just download everything into separate files and in the same folder names. So you have it on your computer just like this. App C, source, and inside the source folder, SRC, you have pages, assets, and app.py, like this. You don't have to do this, but if you do this, it will be a little bit easier to, to follow along because um, I highly recommend that you actually sign up to Heroku, log in like I'm doing, and upload this app to the web just like I'm doing so you get some good practice, and then you can do it with your own app. All right, so let's get started. Um, <coughs> I'm assuming you downloaded your, your app, so we're going to go to the source, we're going to go to app.py, and we are just going to run this this app to make sure that it works fine on our computer. So we're let's do it again. Refresh. Okay. So it looks like it works fine. All the pages are here and they're actually interactive, right? I'm changing the radio buttons. Good. Everything works. All right. Let's go back to the code. <coughs> and now we can go into each and every page. Let's go into page one. In the previous part I only showed you path and I think I showed your name now we are going to highlight name title image and description for almost every single page in this app all right let's go one by one first page one this is going to be our home page as a reminder this is our home page not because it says home but because the path is a forward slash any you have to choose a home page in your app and um, to choose it you have to assign the forward slash so if you want page one to be the home page and make sure you put forward slash your app will not work if you do not choose a home page a forward slash and then because this is going to be my home page I'm going to call it home now name this name is a property of a, uh, the page registry and there's many many different properties if you click on control left click you'll see there's path there's path template there's there's image URL there's redirect there's layout and you can make up your own keyword arguments right today we're going to focus on on these right here so name is actually the name that you give it inside your app and usually it's commonly used um, inside as, as links for example we go here to the app.py file and you'll see we say for every page in the page registry in the values make sure that inside the nav bar that you see here this navigation bar make sure that the um, the page name it goes is created right and then the path so the page name for the first value is home the page name for the second value page 2 is tip analysis all right if you don't put the name it will automatically grab the page name from the from the file name if you did not put this like that 
if you hashtag this out and you rerun this, the page name would have been PG2. Let's run this again. PG2, you see, it automatically reads it from the file. But we want a page name, so we're going to include that in there. And page name for three you see is heat map, and for number one is home. So remember, the page name is only for the, the, the navigation bar, the drop down, the sidebar, anytime you use the for loop um, so people can access your pages on your on on the on the app on the on the screen okay now after pages in page number one after name we have the title now the title is what appears on the browsers browsers tab right so this home page I'm giving it the title index and that's why home page you'll see the title index here you see how it says index if we go to tip analysis it doesn't say tip analysis it, it says tips and why is that because on page two the title is tips with a capital capital T if I want a page two to be titled tips and more save it rerun it and now we'll see that the title of page two would be tips and more in the browser so it's kind of cool because you can create any type of name in the browser tab and then you have the the path uh, which is a URL so here it says tips because the path is uh, forward slash tips right um, for page three it's forward slash heat map with uh, um, a small h right uh, <laughs> minuscule h um, so we'll go to three you see the heat map is here the name is heat map with a capital H and then the title of the browser is new heat maps as you can see here new heat maps all right, so those are the path, name, and title properties. As you can see, we also added an image and a description. And these serve as your meta tags. You see on page one it says to create meta tags for each page, define the title, the image, and the description. Title, image, and description. This is what go is going to allow you to create this image for, for the uh, server to automatically create this image with the link of your app okay so let's see in page one we have the image pg1.png and this image sits in our assets folder assets pg1.png this is our image right so it's going to automate you don't have to say a assets it automatically pulls from the assets folder and the description histograms are the new bar charts so now Aft, only after you deploy this app to the web, which I did right here, where is my app? Right here, you can copy this. This is the home page. Go into, I don't know, the, the forum, paste it, and you'll see that you get, mm, let's actually cancel, paste, and you see that you get a title, the PG1 image, and then the description that we put as the meta tag. So these are meta tags. Remember, title, image, and description. Sometimes it will take about 10 minutes to show up on the web, but it should work. All right, now let's deploy this app to the web using um, Andrews Dash Tools. Go to this link under the video, which is a tutorial, and you'll see that it says in number one, um, to CD, <coughs> sorry, I have a pretty rough flu. Um, to create your app folders like this, my app or the name of the, the root um, uh, of the project, SRC, and then the rest of the the rest of the app. So just like we have here, app C, SRC, and inside we have assets, pages, and app is outside of assets and pages. So we have the right fo um, folder structure. Now we're going to CD into the root folder. So here I'm going to stop this app. I'm going to go to the terminal. I'm inside intro to multi-page app. I'm inside here. I'm going to CD into app C. App C. And then I'm going to CD into, no, that's it. Just CD into app C, which is the, the root of the, of the, the project root. And then I have to add server equals app.server under the where I, you instantiate your, your um, <coughs> dash app in your app.py file right here. 
you have to add right under this you have to add app and server equals app.server right this is for deploying to to the web um, especially on Heroku okay so we we have those two things we have the server we're inside the root project and now if your app has a local CSV or Excel sheets then you would have to do this yeah, a little bit uh, different structure you need a data folder we don't have an Excel sheet or uh, data the data is coming um, directly from Plotly Express built-in data so we can skip number three verify that the app runs locally we did that and now we deploy the app to Heroku we'll just click on this and that's it we're in here we're inside the root project copy paste and now let's follow the instructions now it says um, Roku update available required file proc file so every app needs a proc file I don't have it so I'm going to create it automatically yes create proc good so did it create a proc file let's look yes here is our proc file as you can see this is automatically created this is app because this is app.py so I recommend make sure that your app is also called app.py the main the main page that brings everything together okay required file run the time so we don't have it let's create automatically yes that's created you can see that here runtime this tells Heroku what Python version to use or to install requirements says, yes we need to create that oh I need to update one second let me update to the latest version of of dash tools dash tools has 1.8 and I think I have 1.7 so if I update to the latest version this should work I'll be right back okay so I just updated to the latest version now this should work let's deploy to let's click on dash tools here we'll deploy again start the process now it recognized that I have proc file and runtime so it's not going to ask me to create it again but it's going to ask me to create the requirements.txt. I'm going to say yes. And now it looks like it worked. Da, 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 da. If we go here, requirement.txt. And this is all the um, packages that Heroku needs to install to run your app successfully on the server. So we have that. And now we're going to create a unique name for our app. And let's call this um, multi page Adam charming data or just say charming data multi page charming data let's see if this works please choose a unique name that isn't already taken okay so this is already taken probably by myself <laughs> charming data 2 let's try that okay that worked log into Heroku okay and we're going to log in perfect we're logged in and now let's go back it says please confirm creating a multi-page Xiaomi data app 2 on Heroku I'm gonna say confirm and this should upload the whole package your whole app into the Heroku um, servers so it's gonna go here and it's going to create multi-page Xiaomi data 2 this is the name it's not being created yet it's still uploading all the files and installing all the required files and packages into the Heroku server right <coughs> while this is finishing it should take about 20 more seconds there are 30 more seconds just make sure that your if this is the first time you you're you're uploading your app to the web make sure to have everything very similar to what I have so have your um, folder structure like this where you have source and inside source you have all your app files make sure that your main app.py file which is where you bring all the pages together your main layout make sure it's called app.py and that would help you all right so it seems like it's done so let's go here let's click on the multi-page army data let's refresh this all right so it looks like it worked and now if I tip analysis this works heat map works we see that tip analysis has tips in the URL and tips and more in the title and now let's try see if this works very quickly 
Let's go to the home page. Remember the home page where we had these meta tags, title, image, and description? So now let's copy this, go to Twitter, erase this, and let's see if it worked. Sometimes it takes about five to 10 minutes, so it might not work right now, but it should work. It should work here, and it should work here as well, because we just uploaded this app. You see, it already works on the forum, um, so sometimes it just takes uh, more time on, on the big social media sites, right? LinkedIn, social media, um, Twitter, but it should work. All right, so that is it. Um, it's, I made it look easy, but I know that it's not easy. Uh, it took me time to learn this. So if you do have any questions, please um, write them in the comments under the video. I'd be happy to answer you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking through the, the series. I really appreciate it. Um, if you learned a lot and you would like to support me, don't forget to click on the Patreon link so you can uh, you can support this this um, this channel that is membership based um, and community based. And thank you. Always remember, we're better together, so help each other out. I'll talk to you later.